Demand for air travel is set to take off with more countries relaxing their COVID-19 measures. The aviation industry has been looking at how to make travel more sustainable while keeping an eye on high fuel prices. The International Air Transport Association says more than 45 airlines the world over are now looking at sustainable aviation fuel. Singapore Airlines is among them. It will start a one-year trial with sustainable jet fuel from the third quarter of this year. To understand more, Professor Guido Giannasso joins us live. He's a professor of leadership at HEC Paris and also a former executive committee member of the International Air Transport Association. Welcome, Professor. Now, sustainable aviation fuel. Uh, a very quick read suggests that this uh, it's sustainable because of the way it is derived and the source from which it's derived. Is that correct? That's absolutely correct. Sustainable aviation fuel is made from sustainable resources that can be mixed with any fossil jet fuel to reduce emission. Uh, SAF is made with plants like algae. It's made with waste oil, with palm oil. It's made with solid biomasses such as solid waste or, or wood waste. Uh, what is very interesting uh, with SAF is that they offer a spectacular reduction, which goes up to 80% in terms of carbon emission. And also, uh, even more interesting, a 90% of reduction in particulate and a 100% reduction in sulfurs. So it's definitely an interesting uh, opportunity for uh, not only the aviation industry in general, uh, but the, the, our in world uh, fight on climate. And that's why SAF has been identified by IATA as the main source for uh, carbon emission reduction by the year 2050. Well, you talk about the cost in terms of carbon emissions or sulfur emissions, but of course most companies and businesses are more interested and rightly so, in financial cost. Uh, is this an expensive alternative to use uh, SAF instead of, say, traditional fossil fuels? It is uh, slightly more, uh, more expensive today. Uh, just to give you uh, a sense, uh, the production cost for jet, traditional fossil jet fuel are about 60 uh, cents per litre while SAF cost in between 70 cents and $1.60, which make this solution viable only, or let's say break even, uh, only if the price, the price of fuel is above $120, $120. However, uh, the production technologies are being rapidly uh, improved. Uh, and with demand, uh, uh, you know, the, the cost per liter is definitely going to go down with time. So it's a very promising uh, route towards uh, carbon emission. Oh, so for anyone who wants to argue, why not spend the money and buy carbon credits instead? What would your answer be? Yeah, the answer is, uh, is not about either or. It's, it's actually about both. Uh, both are good solutions to achieve the target. Uh, and, uh, you know, the target is, is very, very important. Just to give you another example, um, you know, the per capita uh, carbon footprint for an economy, an economy class ticket, uh, London, uh, United States, uh, Los Angeles, is about one ton of CO2. Now, we expect by the year 2050, the number of travelers uh, doubling from 4 billion to 8 billion passengers. Uh, so this creates a, a very high sense of urgency. We need to intervene. We need to do something. We need to use every possible solution to reduce carbon emission. So both the options are good. Uh, however, uh, the, 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 you know, in terms of scale, in terms of uh, uh, volumes, uh, SAF is definitely more interesting than, than any other option. And again, that's why uh, IATA has identified it as the main source for uh, carbon emissions. 65% of reduction on carbon emission 
uh, by 2050 has to come from SAF. Well, thanks so much for that, Professor Guido Giannasso from HEC Paris, Doha.